We are against Heimerdinger and Fizz. Interesting combo, PNZ and Bilgewater. Uh, we don't really want to play this on turn one. We're too likely to draw something that we don't want to draw. So I'll keep both of these in starting hand. It's not the greatest. Doom Keeper definitely helps and Ancient Prep isn't bad either. So we can play Ancient Prep on turn one. Go for a Dune Keeper, I guess. Too bad I couldn't Dune Keeper. Um, into. Let's see. Do this. Um, the reason I'm doing the Dune Keeper is because I'm hoping to open attack into a Jagged Taskmaster. I think that is worth doing it. Aw, I'm gonna get Thermo Beamed. Unfortunate. But you know what? Thermo Beam, not bad. I think trying to get Jagged Taskmaster going that quickly is a good thing, so go ahead and play the days and then probably cut throw into Jagged most likely in the future. Maybe we play Azir. Lots of things we can do. Our shape stone is now activated. Uh let's do this. If they throw this, I'm also okay with it. I mean, I'll open attack if they uh, pass here. Flame chompers. Okay. Ooh, we got the misfortune. Um, I'd rather just go for it though. I mean, cause the likelihood of one of the of all these not connecting really low. So this is looking like a good start. Could have killed Flame Chomper, it's not really worth it though. 5 out of 10. So we'll play Jagged, then we'll probably play the Ancient Preparations after. Gotta go with the flow. And zap Sprayfin. The and then we'll play our Ancient Prep as well. We'll probably play our Prowling Cutthroat just because we can block the Zap Sprayfin. Um, it's either Dragon or Rune Runner. Rune Runner can help us close out games a bit easier. It's the biggest reason why she's in the list. She's just too good not to run, especially with Shape Stone. Isaac, just keep on dumping more out. units on the board. So Zero will be leveled very, very soon. We'll probably play the Rune Runner over the Misfortune here. But not yet. Don't want to tap out that quick. I guess the chompers are probably going to pull my elusive, but that's fine. Vulnerable. Okay. We'll play this now. Didn't give it to the Azir. Must not have a way of killing it. Ooh. Alright. Fine with taking this block. Fine with taking this block as well. Honestly, I think I'd rather be a zero block. Surprised they attacked with us. I wonder if they're gonna thermo beam the Azir. That's okay if they do. Probably better to just skip it though. Nope, jury rig. Alright. So Azir is one off a level. He'll level upon the next attack. This attack is really good for me, so I'm just gonna take it. Arise. Tell the people what you Big have Sand seen Soldiers. Today. Yeah, pretty good board. And we do have Shape Stone available. We have Pool Shark, which is really nice because we're starting to run out of steam. And he'll help us not run out of steam, obviously. And Misfortune does help a little bit with the reach as well. Okay. And Flame Chompers, too. Go ahead and save our Shape Stone. Not really necessary to use it here. It will be the next turn. Gangplank is at 2 out of 5. It's not terrible. 
And then we'll go ahead and throw down the pool shark. I'm not sure if I'll play the misfortune or not. Plaza Guardian. I like Plaza Guardian decks. Jailbreak. Alright. Going through down our pool shark. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait the misfortune. We have such a big board here. We can just chill. I wonder what their deck purpose is. They have a leveled up fizz. Don't have the fizz though. They've been having a lot of ones too. I wonder if they also are playing a jagged taskmaster deck and haven't drawn the jagged taskmaster. Okay, a thermal beam, not a big deal. I still don't really feel like playing the misfortune. Don't think it's necessary here. Okay, crack shot is an easy play, and then shape stone. That was really nice that these were not the other way around. Bleeding shape stone would have felt much worse. So that's gonna pop that shield. And it might be getting thermode. Oh yeah, I feel like they have to have a Jagged Taskmaster list as well. It seems very likely. It found you. Don't even have to block this if it's the only thing they attack with. We really shouldn't block. And just pass. The reason being is because our next attack should kill them. Like, there's no point of blocking with the 2-2 two -two when it could just be the extra damage that we need to win. Especially when we have two shape stones in hand. We have a make it rain now too, which is funny because before the overwhelm, if it hits one of the creatures that goes to block the overwhelm unit, could push an extra damage. On top of potentially hitting Nexus too. I'm, I'm ready. Whoa. Hey. But... I think there's a good chance that they are not living through this turn. A really good chance. Why are you here? Okay. So, yeah. They are not living through this turn. No outsiders. I'm, I'm is there ready. any other block they can do? I was gonna say, unless they have a spell in hand, I don't think there is a way. I'm, I'm ready. Oh, 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 there is. Okay, I was gonna say, I think they have to do that. But we do, uh, you know. Just throw this down. See, that's the importance of if we had blocked with this, um, our damage would be a little bit off. I mean, we would still have the other shape stone, but. There's no point of blocking earlier, so it worked out good. Against Pirate Aggro, we have this uh, little cool combo here on turn two. I went ahead and mulliganed away the one. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I was looking for something else on turn one. Where I didn't waste the ephemeral. What was the idea behind that? But. Could have been a bit too greedy, like the 2 1 right now would make this where this doesn't attack. That's alright. Okay. This. There's plenty of killing left. And then we'll play another one. And we'll have a really good attack here if they only have one drops. Okay, that works too. I mean, it is a one drop. Okay, we take those trades. Azir will probably be the next play. Just because what else are we gonna play? <laughs> Dune Keeper? Actually, Dune Keeper could be on the table now that that's been the play. I mean, actually here. Even if they develop one more card. We just block with Azir here. Yeah, don't know about that attack. Ooh, this is gonna be the finisher. I'm calling it already. With this board. I'll probably just play a zap, but I don't want them to develop further. 
being able to block easier. So Zap works, and then on defensive turn, I could play Dune Keeper. It is a fervor. Okay, a very defensive fervor, which we're happy with. It means that we're kind of in the driver's seat. If we're forcing them to do unfavorable plays like that, and they skip that turn too. Warning shot wasn't ideal. Would much prefer to be getting shape stones here to go with my elusive, but that's fine. Okay, it's not a big deal either. Just gonna block this. Can I just bank a bunch of mana and be like, arise, arise, arise? And I could if I were to level up my Zir. I think we just want to put on all the pressure here. I think I will play both of these. How much damage is this? Well, what if we just do this? I mean, that's a lot of pressure. Behold the rewards of your service! It is time! I have risen! And with me, Shurima. Shurima. Yeah, they got a little bit of a funky hand. I wonder what it looks like, but yeah, they got a little funky hand from the previous turns. And I got a pretty good hand. Because even if we don't lethal here, this uh, Emperor's Divide card looking kind of sick. So, attack with everything else, and that should just be enough, maybe? I mean, blocking one of these, you have to block one of the three ones. But, they don't know. They do not know that they are dead regardless, unless they like Noxian Fervor here. Not that one though. Not Noxian Fervor that one, unfortunately. Alright, I just wait for this stuff to go off first because they have another Noxian Fervor. They might change their mind and hit something else instead. So that's why we let it go through and kill them with the warning shot after. 